Last time on Total Drama, the Top 100. The teams were forced to wake up long before sunrise to go for a run across the island. The first five teams to arrive obtained immunity and didn't have to participate in the next part, which was a competition to not be the first team to fall asleep. It was a grueling 48 hours and new friendships were made, but it was Team 9 who had to say goodbye to Owen, one of the finalists of Season 1 and one of the best competitors of all time. The teams at breakfast are still miserable after last night's challenge, besides the top 5 teams who didn't compete, and the teams are discussing today's challenge. Scarlet tells the team that they should be putting their best members up for the dodgeball challenge so they don't have to compete more than they have to. While Mike is walking to the table, he stubs his toe on one of the table legs and starts complaining in a very similar way to Chester, even doing the same facial expressions he did. That is until Harold touches his shoulder and asks if he's okay and Mike snaps out of it, saying that he's fine and it's just a little joke he did with Zoe. In confessional, Mike says that things were going great at first, but recently he's been noticing that his alters are slowly coming back. Scarlet has a confessional where she says that Mike must have DID, he must have thought it was cured or something after season 5, but in reality it was probably just a placebo. I mean, DID can't just be turned off with a switch or a button after all. The Amber Scorpions has Sierra trying to form a group out of her team, but things are not going that well. I mean, when you have no heavy hitters, it's really hard to create a team that will rival Eva's team or really any other team. Scheming Flies almost immediately has Joe, Duncan, and Priya volunteering to compete since this seems up their alley. Mediocre Mealworms has Lightning and Axel volunteer, and Lightning even says that they only need them two to win this challenge before Axel says that she can easily do it without him, which sparks an argument between them, which ends in Lightning being kicked out of his seat. Ravenous Spiders have kind of segregated themselves based on what their current alliances are. Lashana, DJ, and Sky are eating together, Scott, Chase, and Junior are eating together, and finally Jen, Taylor, and Blainley are eating together. Nobody wants to talk to the other group. Excited Ants have Lorenzo quickly volunteering with Caleb and Emma as well. Zoe volunteers herself and Ezekiel says that's probably a great idea since she has such masculine shoulders, so she's probably super strong, which gets a facepalm from Gwen. In confessional, Zoe he asks if her shoulders are really that masculine before hoping that they're smaller than lightnings at least. Drowning Mosquitoes have Alejandro volunteering and he flirts with Eva to get her to volunteer as well as MacArthur though the manipulation wasn't really needed as MacArthur just volunteers anyway before he can really get her on, her, on his side. Jasmine also volunteers to go but Julia pipes up saying how she's basically a tree in stature and the easiest to hit and that's saying something when Millie is here and she's so wide that she can't even fit through the door without turning sideways. Alejandro in Confessionals says that Julia reminds him of Heather but less of a backstabber and more of just a mean person. Tenacious Earwigs has Nichelle volunteering and Courtney is the first to pipe up saying that she's pathetic since she wouldn't even jump in the first challenge. Nichelle quickly argues back saying that she is just scared of heights and she will show her what she's really made of. Courtney says that if they want to lose that bad they should just put up Stacy and Jock responds by saying that what she said was as cold as ice. Hopping Stinkbugs has Miles saying that Rodney should go since he's the strongest guy here, which makes Rodney fall in love with Miles since she clearly loves his strength. He then realizes he has to break up with Stephanie. Brick also volunteers to go as well as Wayne and Brody, but that's when Stephanie says that this challenge requires a feminine touch and volunteers to go as well. Silent Crickets has Izzy, Raj, Tyler, Sean, and Tammy volunteer to compete. Sean tries to say that Tammy shouldn't go since she just plays her ocarina all day and doesn't seem to be that gifted physically, but Trent tells him to give her a chance. B and Beardo give each other a fist bump to which Beardo makes an explosion sound effect once they collide. At the challenge, the teams are all told that this is a dodgeball challenge with a twist. This time it is a tournament style bracket where if you win you get immunity and are out of the tournament, but if you lose you keep going. The last team to remain without a win are up for elimination. Courtney asks Chris how this will work since there's 10 teams which doesn't make it as even as if there were just 8. To which Chris responds by saying that two teams must face a penalty for losing a team member. The Hopping Stinkbugs and the Ravenous Spiders will compete only twice while everyone else has the entire tournament to potentially go through. This worries both teams who lost the last two episodes, but Scott seems weirdly happy about this. The first teams up are Drowning Mosquitoes vs Silent Crickets. Silent Crickets have their five go up, while on Drowning Mosquitoes they have Eva, Alejandro, MacArthur, Jasmine, and Julia going up. Tyler immediately is about to do his plan until 
Hansel as he stops him and tells him that maybe he should throw it straight this time. Tyler nods his head and throws a ball at Eva that gets caught by Alejandro who gives a condescending smile to Tyler which makes him mad but he still sits down on the bleachers. Eva thanks Alejandro but says she didn't need his help, and Alejandro agrees but says that this is beneath her to work hard against such a terrible team. Sean becomes angered at that and throws a ball at Alejandro and it's deflected by Alejandro which gets Sean out. Raj tells Izzy to throw a ball and he'll throw one right after and she agrees and the first ball is deflected and the other one is caught with Alejandro's legs, shocking everyone in the room. Tammy is the only person left, and she's quickly knocked out, giving the drowning mosquitoes a much needed win while Sam is just gaming on the bleachers. The next round are the Flaming Cockroaches vs Excited Ants. Flaming Cockroaches 5 are Mike, Jose, Chet, Ripper, and Bowie. On the Excited Ants, their 5 are Zoe, Emma, Lorenzo, Caleb, and Ezekiel. Chet and Ripper get a ball and they do their special move, which is just Ripper farting, creating a cloud to distract the other team while Chet throws the ball, getting Zoe out. Lorenzo in Confessional says that team attacks are him and Chet's thing. Back on the court, Lorenzo yells at Chet saying that's their thing and Chet is a bit worried as Lorenzo dives onto Chet and fights with him, but both are hit, getting them both out. On the way to the bleachers, they call each other harsh names. The rest of the Excited Ants team up to try and form a style where everyone throws the ball at one person and Ezekiel agrees to the plan. They all throw their balls at Mike, but Mike turns into Svetlana for the moment and dodges them while catching them as well making Jose incredibly impressed by his display. Mike snaps out of it while holding the three balls, and Jose goes to him and asks if he'd like to be her ice skating partner, to which Mike refuses. Jose in confessional says that they always refuse the first time, even Jock didn't want to be your partner until she locked him in the locker room until he agreed. The flaming cockroaches are safe for another day. The next round are the Scheming Flies versus the Tenacious Earwigs. The Scheming Flies have Noah, Joe, Duncan, Priya, and finally Devin, while the Tenacious Earwigs have Jeff, Nichelle, Ryan, Lauren, and Jock. Duncan wants to do his strategy of throwing the balls at one person, but Joe tells him to be a man and fight his own battles one on one, which due to their fighting, they both get hit and they blame each other for their losses. Priya is able to get Noah out easily as well as Jock and Ryan, but Nichelle looks at Courtney and becomes angered before dodging one of Priya's balls and slamming her own ball into Priya's face, which Lauren gives an excited squeal to. Devin tells them to go easy on him, but Lauren says she won't and begins her torture of Devin where she just attacks him over and over again with dodgeballs until Chris stops her and Devin falls to the ground, bruised and not in the best mood. Nichelle in Confessional says that after she got out, she trained with her stunt double Jerry and now she can do all he can but better. The final team to go until the losers are the Amber Scorpions and the Mediocre Mealworms. The Amber Scorpions nominate Sierra, Cody, Anwi, Damien, and Dawn, while the Mediocre Mealworms nominate Lightning, Axel, Heather, Carrie, and Spud. The Amber Scorpions know they can't win normally with this roster, and that's why Sierra's gonna use her total drama knowledge to manipulate the other team. Sierra says that Lightning isn't good enough to get a scholarship from a Division I school, which makes Lightning mad enough to throw the ball at Sierra, which she is able to catch surprisingly before telling Axel that zombies aren't real and to grow up, which gets her riled up and she falls for the bait, causing her ball to be deflected. Spud just gets hit in the face with the ball as he's just zoning out. Heather tries her best and is able to get Cody out, but when she throws it at Anwi, he just catches it with a blank expression on his face. Heather walks off angrily while Carrie is a bit scared and shields for impact before Dawn just touches her with the ball. Carrie thanks Dawn before Heather asks what she means by that since they lost the challenge because of her, and Carrie just says that they will have a second chance, and Heather asks if they should be going to a second round against a team like this, and Lightning says that he's just shamed for his behavior, and Axel even apologizes as well. Finally, the loser's bracket begins with Ravenous Spiders vs. Hopping Stink Bugs. Ravenous Spiders nominate Scott, Lashana, DJ, Sky, and Chase, while Hopping Stink Bugs nominate Rodney, Brick, Wayne, Brody, and finally Stephanie. When the round starts, Scott throws his ball at Sky, eliminating her. Scott just says, whoops, it slipped, and Lashana angrily throws her own ball at Scott before saying, whoops, it slipped, in a condescending tone. Both Sky and Scott go to the bleachers before Lashana gets hit in the face by Stephanie since she was too busy looking at Scott leaving to pay attention to the other team. DJ lifts Lashana up and asks if she's okay, to which Lashana says that it's no biggie. 
DJ is fired up and takes out Brody and Wayne, but when he throws to Stephanie, Rodney catches the ball for her, and Stephanie asks if he did that for him, and Rodney stammers and eventually says yes, and Stephanie punches him in the gut, saying she can handle herself. Chase tells them not to hurt him too bad, until Stephanie throws the ball Rodney had at Chase, knocking him into the glass walls behind him. The next round is the Silent Crickets versus the Excited Ants. Both teams have the same players. Before the round begins, Z says that they should all take the balls and then just not throw them because then they have nothing to get them out with. Zoe tries to politely tell him why it's wrong before Emma interrupts saying how that's a stupid idea because then they can't get anyone out. Z responds with, oh yeah, you're smart, before sipping his soda. Tyler throws a ball at Ezekiel which is caught by Emma and she asks if he's okay and he just says yes. Tyler in confessional says that he can't believe that that office lady looking woman is able to catch a ball. Raj makes a team huddle, but while they're talking, Emma hits Raj with the ball and he falls, telling the others they have to go on without their leader and he's dragged off the court by Tyler and Trent. Izzy and Sean are able to take out Ezekiel and Lorenzo, but once they target Caleb, Emma and Zoe both are able to catch the balls thrown at him, which leaves only Tammy, and they get her out easily. The Scheming Flies vs. the Mediocre Mealworms is the next round, and Carrie and Devin get each other out in the beginning so they can spend time with each other, and Heather is dumbfounded and in confessional, she asks why this always happens. While Heather is distracted, Joe takes the opportunity to hit Heather. Lightning and Joe take each other out, Axel decides to make Spud useful and uses him as a shield as she leads the charge to the other team's side, before taking them all out one by one. When asked if this is against the rules, Chris says it is, but it was cool so he will allow it. The mediocre mealworms win. The semi-final round is the Scheming Flies vs the Silent Crickets. Noah is swapped for Pete, and since Devin isn't back, they replace him with Elodie. It feels like deja vu, but the Silent Crickets get brought down to just Tammy, and Tammy once again is beaten, even with Tyler taking out Pete at the beginning, causing Jerry to burst out laughing. So the final round is Ravenous Spiders vs the Silent Crickets. By now, Sean pleads with the group to replace Tammy with someone else, and they sadly oblige, putting Jerry in. Jerry attempts to go for a running start, but his knee gives out and he's taken out because of that. Scott then throws a ball at Sky and Lashana, but DJ grabs Scott's arms and shakes his head before getting him out. Scott says that he couldn't help himself and he's sorry, but Sky and Lashana can see through that apology easily. Sadly for the Silent Crickets, things go south quickly with Sean being their star player, and even he gets beaten after DJ has Chase get hit so he can catch the ball and win for his team. Everyone cheers for DJ and Scott is upset at this, but in confessional he says that it's no big deal, there's always next week. Silent Crickets are told that they are to be at elimination tonight, and the team makes sounds of annoyance. Before elimination, Heather finds Devin and Carrie and slams a canoe on Devin like she did Tyler and Cannon. Jerry and Confessional says that it may not have been his best showing, but they can't get rid of him for this, right? At elimination, we see Trent voting Jerry, Tyler voting Tammy, and Sean voting Trent. They are welcome to their first elimination ceremony. If they receive a marshmallow, they will be safe and can continue playing. But if they lose, they must walk the dock of shame, board the boat of losers, and they can't come back. Ever. The first marshmallows go to people with zero votes. Izzy, B, Beardo, Rock, and Raj. The next marshmallows go to those with only one vote. Tyler, Sean, and Trent. And finally, the person who will remain in the game and is safe another week is... Jerry. Jerry is relieved and grabs the marshmallow happily while saying sayonara to Tammy. Tammy stands up and tries to play a song on her ocarina, but is picked up and taken to the boat. Tammy says that it didn't go as planned, but at least she wasn't first this time. She hopes Leonard wins this so they can afford to leave their parents' house. The final votes are as follows. Izzy voted for Tammy for overall being the worst player. B voted Tammy for the same reasons. Beardo voted Jerry since he's old and will be a hindrance. Rock voted Sean since he doesn't join the group that often. Raj voted Tammy for the same reasons. Tyler voted Tammy for the same reasons. Sean voted Trent because he doesn't like musicians due to noise attracting zombies. Tammy voted Tyler for being a jock but being pathetic every time he tried. Jerry voted Tammy, and finally Trent voted Tammy. And that's that for episode 3 of Total Drama The Top 100. I hope you all enjoyed this episode, leave your thoughts in the comments, and I'm gonna start episodic questions every episode. First question, what team is your current favorite? I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you all in the next episode of Total Drama The Top 100.